Welcome to Film Speak. I'm going to analyze a segment of a feature length screenplay derived from Otto Preminger's film noir drama Fallen Angel, but we're going to call our piece Booby Trap. We're going to look at four scenes from a roughly 90 minute movie. Fallen Angel was a 1945 black and white film noir directed by Otto Preminger. Uh, it was followed up to Preminger's 1944 classic, Laura. Now, Fallen Angel features Alice Fay, Dana Andrews, Linda Darnell, and Charles Pickford. It was the last film Fay made as a major Hollywood star. She didn't make another film until State Fair in 1962. Film noir is a cinematic term used primarily to describe stylish Hollywood crime dramas. These type of films, which emphasize cynical attitudes and sexual motivations, were predominant from the early 1940s to the late 1950s. Film noir of this era is associated with a high contrast black and white visual style that had its roots in German expressionist cinematography. Many of the prototypical stories and much of the attitude of classical noir derive from the hard-boiled school of crime fiction that emerged in the United States around the Great Depression. French critic Nino Frank coined the term film noir in 1946 to describe the black film or dark film nature of these type of crime stories. Of course, the term went unrecognized by most American film industry professionals at the time. Interestingly, my mother, who came of age in the 40s, referred to film noir as trashy movies. Somehow, I don't think she was alone. Later cinema historians and critics would regard this genre as an unrealized form of cinematic art. Before the notion was widely adopted in the 1970s, many of the classic film noir movies were referred to as melodramas. We're going to try to discover the movie-making process through the eyes of the director who would have made this post-World War II film. Therefore, many of the historical restrictions reflect not only the limitations of the technology, but also the perspective of the filmmakers at that time. For instance, many of the B-movies at this time began to break with Hollywood's strict stylistic approach. And this was because of the influence of German Expressionism. Hence, um, a number of directors employed stylistic lighting and, and cinematography. They used cookies and the moving camera. For the purposes of this exercise, there are five actors. One is the lead and four others are supporting roles. There are three sets and one location. By this time, most of the car photography was shot on set using rear screen projection. This allowed for more control of lighting and, and camera positioning. Before we analyze this piece, let's take a look at an animatic of this sequence of four scenes. Short of help this morning, huh? Kind of. She always come in this late? Sometimes. Why you want to know? I just thought maybe she'd skipped out on you again. No, she won't do it. She promised me she won't. Stella! Morning, Stella. Good morning. I sure could use some coffee. I got something special for you. for you last night until after three. That's nice. Where were you? 
Around. For that guy? Oh, leave me alone, will you? It's too early. Here you are. Mm, thanks. Where'd you get the watch? Like it? Get me some hash. Good and brown. I said some hash. You get this last night? Wait till we're married and then ask me. Till then, I don't have to tell you a thing. We're as good as married. <laughs> You're dropping out of circulation. From now on, when you go out, it'll only be with me. You got a steady date with Miss Mills. I'm only doing that for you. A lot of good I'm getting out of it. You will in a couple of days. Okay, a couple of days, but that don't mean forever. Morning, Mr. Judd. Good morning, Stella. Hello? With my compliments. Thank you. Thank you. I'm leaving tomorrow and I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Stanton. We were just going to pick up a few things. Can we take you anywhere? Any way you say. Can three of us get in there? I think so. You go ahead. Thank you. Nice town. Hate to leave it. Expect to go far? Maybe. Maybe I'll be back. And maybe I won't. It depends. On what? On what there is to come back to. I'll be just a minute. What would you come back for, Mr. Stanton? June. I gathered as much. Let's be frank, shall we? My cards are on the table, Miss Mills. I want you to leave June alone. We don't know who you are or where you come from. What do you do? Nothing. That's frank, at least. And I'm sure you'll be interested to know I have no bank account, either. I thought so. Your hand is showing, Miss Mills. You've got a trump card, money. And because I haven't... That isn't true. It has nothing to do with money. June has quite enough for herself, even without my share. Your share? Yes, she'll get that, too. I want her to be happy. That's all I care about. It's all hers, whatever I have. In San Francisco, Mr. Stanton, where no one can touch it. Not until she meets the right man. Well, maybe I'm not the right man after all. And you won't see her again? Suppose we leave that up to the one concerned.